Welcome to the homework for Lesson 6, Grade 3, Module 2. Get your name on first. And this says use the chart to help you answer the following questions. The questions are lettered A, B, C, and D. Here's the chart. Now this is just like a place value chart, right? These are ones, gram, single grams, 10 gram weights would be tens. 100 gram weights would be hundreds, and kilograms are 1,000 grams, so these would be THs for thousands. So that's 1,000. Isaiah puts a 10 gram weight on a pan balance. How many 1 gram weights does he need to balance the scale? So if you drew a scale with a pan... It's a pan balance, so we have pans on here, and then we have a 10 here. It would be the same as having 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That would balance. Isaiah. needs 10 1 gram weights next Isaiah puts a hundred gram weight on the balance on a pan balance <clears throat> how many 10 gram weights does he need to balance the scale well it takes 10 tens to make a hundred so uh, you could write ten tens, or better to write it this way. Write it in unit form. Ten tens equals one one hundred. So. Isaiah needs 10. Let's write as let's write the word 10. 10 10 gram weights. <clears throat> Isaiah then puts a kilogram weight on a pan balance. How many hundred gram weights does he need to balance the scale? We can do the same thing, similar thing here, that it takes 10, 10 hundreds equals 1,000. So he needs ten hundred gram weights. What part what pattern do you notice in A through C? Now, you might see a pattern I don't, but I'll tell you what I see right here. A pattern, something that you're looking for that's the same. I'm going to underline it in pink. 10, 10, 10. You don't have to underline yours in, in, uh, in pink, but I just wanted to sh say that that's what I saw showing up over and over again. <clears throat> the pattern I notice is... It takes 10 10 units to equal 
one of the next uh, place value higher. There might be a better way to say it than that. Or there might, maybe you probably think of a way to say this better than the way I thought of. Here's our next page. Read each digital scale. Write each weight using the word kilogram or gram for each measurement. Okay, so we have a basket of fruit. It says three kilograms. So we're going to write three three kilograms. Kg is kilograms, so we'll say that's six. kilograms and the spelling matters here because all we're doing for this is we're practicing writing kilogram and gram and we're practicing reading kilogram and gram and this is 450 and if this reminds you of unit form that you saw in second grade where you're writing tens hundreds uh, with a combination of numbers and words this is because we're writing we're writing units 450 grams. All right, now here's our next one. Flowers, we have 907. These are grams, so it's 907. And the unit is grams. These are kilograms, so it's 11 kilo. And that's one kilogram lamp. Oops, that's the abbreviation. We're not writing abbreviations. We're writing the whole word. One kilo, it's, it's only one kilogram, right? Now, uh, a kilogram is about two pounds. So this lamp would be about two pounds. And this dog would be about about 22 pounds and that's it we're out of homework for now